And let's just broaden a little bit more. Tell us just more about what's like computer science like in America? How is it different studying here compared to back home? I never studied computer science back home, but okay. uh, from what I've heard from students and so on, whatever was being taught is a bit more theoretical in the sense like we study a lot about how okay. the computers are designed how and so on and how they work internally. Here most of the courses if you are going for, they are uh, somewhat uh, like uh, practical approached. Mm -hmm. So we uh, like have to go through assignments mm -hmm. and projects and everything in which we actually have to program and develop stuff. Mm -hmm. One simple example would be last uh, semester I took up a course for database design Okay. and most of the places you might have experienced like we have to write queries and things like that but the project we were given is to create a database so we had to take up a language of our choice and we had to write the code and design a database on our database you can uh, the one that we finished in our project you can come and uh, execute queries and see it work mm -hmm. so that's the difference you will notice like we are actually building stuff from the ground up wow. so you have a lot of practical understanding in and out how things work out in computers and that's probably better too for your experience for when you're trying yeah. jobs yeah that's awesome now what would you say makes the computer science department at UTD stand out or different or why should people try and you know come to UTD for computer science? Uh, computer science uh, in UTD is really good in the sense that it's really research oriented and you will find a lot of professor working on really cutting edge, tech, uh, cutting edge technologies mm -hmm. and some of the professors here are like uh, some of the world renowned professors like uh, if I give an example, we have Professor Desmet, who is uh, like a master in cryptology and things. Okay. Even uh, the companies like uh, Ethereum Foundations, uh -huh. the one with the bitcoins, they seek out to him for their some help and support when they need things. Wow. And we have another uh, professor, I think, uh, I, I would give an example of Professor Bhavani. She is into uh, like uh, all the defense sector mm -hmm. and the computer security, cybersecurity, cybersecurity mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, the Department of Defense at the US and so on, they all uh, come and approach her when they have security issues so we have some of the professors at the excellent level mm. and they don't only work on pro regular projects but they are involved in uh, research as well mm. so if you can get involved in some of the research that they are doing on uh, it's like the best you can get that's awesome Sounds yep. like you guys get some great experience yep. great exposure and to learn from some of the best exactly that's awesome so don't, before we wrap up, um, normally we're having chai, but it's so hot that we, we had some cold coffees earlier. We, yeah. we scarfed those down because it's so hot today in the summer. So get ready. Texas is hot when you guys get here. Yeah. But any final tip uh, for people coming to study or do computer science this fall in America? Uh, one thing that I uh, have heard a lot, like even we had the uh, confusions when, like before we came, mm -hmm. is people were concerned about should we prepare uh, Java as a language, Python and so on, like mm -hmm. what to do and what not to do. There was a lot of confusion. But in short, what the computer science department needs is someone with a good understanding of algorithms okay. and uh, how things uh, work as a data structure and stuff. So it doesn't matter what language you are preparing, uh, doesn't matter uh, what specifications you are going on. As long as your concepts are clear with algorithms and data mm -hmm. structures, you're good to go. And beyond that, if you have any queries on those things, just reach out to the seniors and the department or you can always reach out to GCS. So uh, GCS also has got a good uh, connectivity with our alumni. Okay. Uh, so uh, with that, we can, uh, you know, um, if you have any queries related to maybe internship, for example, mm -hmm. we have uh, like the alumni available so we can always reach out to them and we can ask them for help and guidance mm -hmm. as to how to prepare the do's and don'ts in the industry in the US so we can help out in those things as well. Hmm. Great. So. Thanks so much. Those are great tips. Thank you. Great information. Again, check the links below on how to get connected and hope you guys have a great experience coming to study in America and study computer science. At Chai and Coaching, we want you guys to really be successful here in America. So take Sedan's advice and him and his team um, will be really happy to help you guys. So thanks for joining us today. See you next time at Chai and Coaching. Thank Thanks, you. Buddy. See you guys. 
Hey friends, thanks for joining us again at Chai and Coaching. Hope this will help you to be successful as an international student here in America. Please subscribe, like, follow, share, comment below um, or on our other platforms online and continue the conversation, help each other out. So yeah, it was great having you join us at Chai and Coaching and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Ah.